All right, everybody, Adam here with E-Trailer. We're gonna be taking a look at some Yakima core bars. So these are gonna come in a lot of different lengths. What you see right here is the 50 inch long version. We're also gonna have 60, 70, and 80. Each one you can grab in a pair of two, but you can also grab each one in a single pair. There is one kit that we put together, which is these 50 inch bars that come in a kit of three. So all just depends on your vehicle. So be sure to use our fit guide to get the appropriate tower and the fit kit to fit your specific vehicle. We have a lot of different roof rack systems on our website, but what really sets the core bar apart from most is we're gonna have an aerodynamic shape. So it's gonna be a definite upgrade from the round bars or the square bars. But there are some other ones that are gonna have T-slots up top. This one does not. So basically with T-track accessories, it's just gonna make it a little bit lower on the bar. It doesn't really change a whole lot, maybe a half an inch or an inch, but every single different Yakima clamp around accessory, whether it wraps around or it clamps on, it's gonna work with this. That's basically what roof racks are for, just to put some accessories up on top of your vehicle. We just wanna make sure we don't go over the capacity, which is 220 pounds, and they are made of steel, which really gives it that strength. Here's an example of an accessory that's gonna work with this core bar. It's just the Yakima J-Lo. So it's just gonna go around like this. And as we start to tighten this down, it's gonna get nice and secure. So if you wanted to carry a kayak, you can use this. I really like the JLo. You don't really have to stick with Yakima stuff. So if you have a wraparound accessory that's another brand and that works with their aero bars. So aero bars are basically a pretty standard size. So it doesn't really have to be Yakima. You just wanna make sure it's not a T-slot accessory because basically all aero bars are the same. So if you already have accessories, you can use it with this. But sometimes people just like to stick with the same brands, which I don't necessarily, it doesn't really matter to me as long as it works, right? So this is a good example of what you can do with your roof rack. And here's another example. So this is a wrap around accessory. So we just take these little bands and they wrap around just like that. So if you're really wanting to know if your accessory is gonna work, all you gotta do is just make sure that it can be used with a bar that has these measurements. So this bar, the core bar, has a width of about two and three quarters of an inch, and it's about an inch thick. With the 50 inch bars, we can fit a kayak, and we can also fit a bike, and I bet we can actually fit another bike on here. If we were a little bit better with kind of shifting this around, there is a skinny warrior that's gonna work with this too, and it's a kind of a skinny cargo basket. So we can fit a lot of stuff on here with even the smallest bar. A couple of things I would add to this setup. One, we can't lock the bars themselves to our roof, but the towers that connect to the bars can lock. They are not gonna come with locking cores, but you can grab them here at each trailer and that's just gonna prevent anybody from grabbing your cool roof rack setup. But also, with the aerodynamic shape, it's gonna really cut down on that wind noise, but some people think that it still is a little noisy. So we actually have some fairings that go on the front to kind of direct all of that air up and over everything, so you won't hear as much whenever you're going down the road. So if you kind of like the core bars and you're not really one of those people who have a lot of T-slot accessories, I don't like T-slot accessories just because they take a little bit longer to install. I just like to have clamp around stuff just because it's a lot simpler, quicker to get everything moving and you can get everything set up a little bit quicker. But if you want some T-slot stuff, we do have some T-slot bars. But whether you just grab two or even just three different bars, this is gonna be a great option for some of those rooftop tents that you guys like to buy and put on your roof. So you're not really limiting yourself at all with the core bars, minus the whole T-slot accessory thing. But other than that, I really like the core bars. I like Yakima just because it looks really good. I mean, it's all kind of matching and it really kind of goes with the theme of the vehicle. All of them do come in black, so that is kind of the only option when it comes to color. But all in all, it looks good and it enables this vehicle to do so much more than it once could.